a line. To some, it is seen as a barrier. To others, it's a point where traditions of the past are abandoned in favor of visions of the future. Introducing the revolutionary new Toyota Supra. It's taken everything sports cars were before and crossed the line. You saw the thumbnail, I'm designing and 3D printing world's most realistic 8 scale Toyota Supra. Alright guys, it's been after 2 days, 1 day and 20 hours, the front piece is finally done. But this is not going to be the last version because I found out that I did a mistake here and I have to do it again uh, but I fixed the STL file so after we figure out the engine hook gonna sit over here we'll print another one and even with that we can see that the support is break but even though it made it so let's remove from the build plate and check it out After 2 days and 17 hours, the back part chassis is done. For this one, I used tree support because the other one was a bit hard to take it off, but we'll see if it's easier with this one. Alright, let's take it out of the build plates and remove the supports. take it off everything but the front one is a, it was a bit hard but now it's all done we're gonna assemble it and put the parts on see uh, if our measurement is correct so we need four bolts but for now I will put two because I will replace it anyway because there are something wrong with it and I, will, I have to fix it again but the rear uh, I don't think I have done any wrong so far but we're gonna assemble it so we can put the parts on uh, i already made the fenders and the caliber arms so we will be focusing on the front part first and then the rear part because the front part we have an engine we will have some problems with it and once we figured out everything we will put all the panels on but for now i'm gonna put all these bolts on here are a bit longer because it will be a temporary but later I will put shorter ones but right now it's solid and we will put the parts on so just figure out the measurements the engine and the arms I already put these things so we're gonna put them on
for now I'm not gonna put the bearings in because I'm not sure if it's the correct one but we'll put them on and check the measurement between the fender and the tire if we have a good gap between them with steering wheel we're not gonna have any problem so let's put it on Here's the drive shaft and later I'm gonna take the shaft so the only this the head will stay because this is a real wheel drive and we don't need that. I also printed the rotor and the caliper so we're gonna put them on and put the wheels on so we can see the measurements between the fender and the wheel. With this design I put a 70 millimeter hex so we can put another wheels on but I will do another design so which you have uh, 5 lug nuts which you have to print your own wheel so with this design I made the rotor 70 millimeter hex so you can put any wheels on but I will do another design as well with 5 lug nuts or 4 so you can print your own rim and it will be like a real car with 5 lug nuts but for now we're gonna put the wheels on so we can see the measurement between the fender and the wheel and see the gap between them and I already made the fender with fender you have three mounting points but with these ones you have to insert the brass uh, nuts and, and then you can put it on and take it off uh, without any problems but for now I will use uh, small screws just to hold it in place so we can see the measurements the bad news after three hours we have a failed print after the support brake and I had to stop the printer it wastes all the time and the material but if you don't have a big printer like this or you are using Ender 3 like mine over there and you want to build a big project like this if you want to skip all that headache and all that wasting time head over to pcbways.com PCB way offering CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. You just have to put the file and choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCB ways link will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCB ways for sponsoring this video. <laughs>
But remember, all the things right now I'm doing are temporary because I'm not sure about the design so far. But some of the parts not gonna be changed, like the fender. The fender is designed like this. If I have to change something, I will change it from the chassis, but not from the body panels. The body panels will stay the same. But so far, it looks pretty good, actually. Alright, few more panels done. Here is the color panel and it will be mounted on four points. I only did for this side, but I'm gonna do for the other side as well. And I made a gas tank door for the other side as well. And here is the door. And I also made the hinges. But with the hinges, you have to insert the brass nut over here and on the door as well and also on the body for these panels I also redesigned the lower arm so I made a cut here so you don't have to use a stud uh, like I used over here with this one you can insert the M3 bolts from here and then put one of the joints like this over there alright this side is done and it's working freely not rubbing any places and the steering wheel angle is very good i can use this car for drifting as well and but for now everything you can see is temporarily because i haven't bolted anything on but for now it's going really well and all these panels are ready for bolting on but i'm not gonna do it because i have to print this again and i forgot to make a hole over here just like these ones and these ones so I'm gonna have to do that again and I have to figure out how to put the differential on there and all the transmission thing over here but for now the project is going really well so for the next video we're gonna be working on the doors and core panel and also the bumper as well I will try to print it again and the roof as well but for now it's really good let me know what you guys think about the project. Hope you guys enjoying the project as I'm enjoying it right now. Like and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any episode on this build.